Hi guys, so I've kind of been at a weird crossroads. I ended up attending an info session for CRNA, which is what I wanted to do, is to become a nurse anesthetist. So I attended an info session last week for Loma Linda, but a lot of the info sessions, the way they hold them is that you attend the info session and then you apply right away. It's kind of like the icing on the cake. I kind of wasn't thinking about applying this year. And so now I'm kind of scrambling, didn't really prepare, so I don't really know if this is a good idea or one of my worser ideas, but I've been spending the day trying to email different CRNAs to Shadow and see if I can bulk up my application. I've been kind of looking up CRNAs that I can email and like trying to find in the greater LA area. So that's been kind of interesting, especially since right now they're not allowing a lot of shadow opportunities because of COVID. And hopefully I'll be in school by 2022. That's like my dream, fingers crossed. Um, I would love to go to Kaiser or USC. Those are my absolute top two choices because I want to stay local. And like in my heart, I, I really want it, I feel it, so. I'm excited and I'm nervous and we're gonna do this, yeah. Okay guys, so a little update on the <laughs> shadowing um, anesthesia thing. I tried to contact this doctor who does mentoring sessions. He lives all the way out in the East Coast and he does shadowing on a daily, but he is booked three months out. I also talked to this girl that does virtual shadowing. I signed up for her. Um, academy thing that she is going on her mentorship program so I'm doing that I'm trying to do one through my work and I have a neighbor who is an anesthesiologist so I'm gonna see if I can shadow her and then my mom's friend's son is but he said that he has some anesthesia friends so I think that this might be doable and it's just kind of so crazy how everything is happening right now what is up friends it's currently august 7th it's a friday so i just bought the magoosh test prep um, for the gre i'm going to take one in october october 1st because usc's deadline to take it for this year is the first they want two weeks before their application closes on the 15th of october so we are going to try to grind it out right now i'm really bad at math i Actually, that was one of the worst subjects I did in, in college. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna get through it, but I'll walk you through it. Um, so Magoosh is this test prep site, um, and they actually offer six months of GRE prep. Math is not my strong suit, but I finally got a question right, and it took me super duper long to solve for it. Good morning, guys. It is about 7.40. I'm so tired. I worked four shifts this week and I have one day off and then I'm back to work for two. I do breaks the day after that and then I will be off for one and then going back to work. So it's definitely a full week. I'm still going to try to do a lot of GRE CRNA prep this week and um, stuff for like Instagram and creating more content for you guys to watch. So it's a full week try to get through it. I love seeing the skyline in the morning and just seeing how peaceful everything is. It's like so nice. I always like to compare Night Shift. It's like those horror movies where it's like you have to just stay alive until you see the sunrise. And that's kind of how I see crazy Night Shifts is that you just gotta stay afloat until the sun rises and then you're good and then you can leave. So we're gonna have a good week this week. We're gonna set our intentions for this week and we're we're gonna get it. I've been having a hard week lately. Um, I've just kind of been feeling overwhelmed and I know I'm really young and I'll probably get so much crap for like saying this, but I just feel so like not, I don't know, accomplished and not like, not like I haven't reached where I wanna reach yet. But if I think about it, like, you know, I have been on track doing things for going back to school and it's kind of just at your own pace and I have to like remind myself that like there is no time limit like I'm the one that's setting this time limit and it's not other people that are setting it for me it's just me pressuring myself and so I really gotta stop stop
stop doing that to myself. And yeah, so welcome to my vlog style. You're just hearing me chat. Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to have to edit this out. But that's how I've been feeling, so hopefully I'll have a better week. I know a lot of times I come through Instagram with like a lot of the positivity and stuff like that, but it's not always like that in real life. Sometimes I have really hard weeks. And so, yeah. All right. Well, I am going to go home and probably finish editing. I'll either do that before or after this night shift. What's up, guys? If you got this far, thanks so much for watching as I still sort of try to figure out this vlog style video. Um, so I did have a really hard week last week. I added on um, both weeks, but one of the weeks with this past week, actually, my patient got really, really sick. And it was one of those shifts where you are standing on your feet the whole shift, trying to make sure that you can stabilize the patient or trying to talk to the doctors to see what interventions they want to do. So I was definitely tired after those shifts. But I think other than that, I was also kind of going through some stuff where I was trying to figure out what deadlines I wanted to set for myself and what expectations I was trying to set for myself because I felt like I was burning myself out. For example, I think for school, I've realized that I don't want to apply this cycle. I was kind of thrown into it feeling like I should because I had friends that were applying or friends already in the program and I kind of wanted to be like them. And so I realized that I have to take it at my own pace. For example, my top two schools, their application deadlines are in October, but I have not asked anyone for a letter of rec so far. I have not taken the classes that I needed to and nor the GRE. So I'm just rushing my myself and adding more stress to my plate that I shouldn't be and even then um, my backup schools they have already closed so I can't even apply to them it would just be me applying for my top two three ish schools um, and with like any other school you obviously want to get in on your first try but you don't want to apply more than three times so I didn't really want to waste that opportunity just in case I did need it in the future so I decided to take a step back and I'm still gonna take my GRE in October just to kind of see where I'm at, but I will take it again if I have to. I'm hoping that I don't have to, um, but we have been working on math. Uh, during those vlogs that you saw, I was really diligent about math, but it's been kind of, um, like a week and a half now since then and obviously almost the end of um, August so I have gotten really busy with work and so I haven't been doing some jury prep which I'm gonna try to get some done today um, also just in terms of creating content and things like that I used to be really harsh on myself in terms of finding metrics and seeing metrics go up and things like that and I realized that that took away from me wanting to create and so I'm trying to be less hard on myself and create my own metrics for success like what does success look like to me rather than just rely on vanity metrics because honestly if you keep looking at them like I do then you would get burnt out too so I'm just going to keep doing what I do in a way that's sustainable for me hopefully and like when I started it you know my intention was just if I could impact one person and help them out on their nursing journey then that would make my day and I got to stay true to that and so um kind of just checking in and giving you guys a, a background on what it looks like from the other end where not everything's scripted and put together so that you guys can learn a little bit more about me and kind of what I'm going through and the struggles that I go through as a nurse and creator and things like that. So yeah, I hope you learned a little bit about me if you got this far in the video. Thanks again for watching because I know that videos like this can be super long. Um, if you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know to create more or if you have any comments on how to make it better, please go ahead and throw those down below um, because I do like vlog style videos, um, but I would like to tell a better cohesive story with it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And the next video will be educational for sure. So. Stay tuned for that if you're here for that sort of stuff. All right. Thanks again, guys. Bye.